Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of, yes, you guessed it again, Strategic Command World War II World at War. And of course, we're playing as um, the Axis this time, not just Germany, but the full Axis. Uh, and um, again, if you're watching this probably around the time that it's released, I'm going to be playing. Um, I'm going to stop this um, once I get ready for the Barbarossa campaign to start. We'll be playing that live on Slytherin's Twitch channel on the 30th of January. That's a Wednesday, 6 p.m. starting. We'll play for a few hours at least. So stop on by, say hi, even if you can't stay long. But I'd love to see you there. Okay, well now what we're sort of concentrating on is trying to open up the supply routes even more in here and also eventually cutting off some of the supply more in here okay to that end though this might be the, the necessary um, path here but we've sort of got this excuse me functionally here to to work with um, Yes, interceptors. Escorts. Good. Bad, but whatever. Good hurt them even more. Didn't do too much, did that. Okay. down to there. Okay, well. Mm. Okay, they got there. And you'll we'll move the tanks up. Now, down here, let's use some Naval air power to Well, I do want to come here with that like they could get down there. So these guys. Ouch. At least I hope they won't be able to reinforce. Um, I think I want to come through here more. So. Ah. Uh, then get up to there. The front's moving, so let's keep that going. power down here and unfortunately the big thing we just recently got was the naval bombers which may be able to help some but um not that much maybe okay you're in the rain is why you can't operate right now Swap the 
these guys out. Okay, we're not going to attack, but now they're at least on the road better. That's good. So, these guys up here. Um, oh, we should have also struck with um, air power. What, oh, well, maybe we should be doing that instead. Instead of trying to go after this guy. Okay. Are there partisans right up there? Yeah. So that's sort of why we have some of those guys there. This will fall next turn, I do believe. Not absolutely sure, but I believe so. Chungking is our current capital. You can barely see it written there. Not that that necessarily means surrender. I don't know what it means, but it could mean that. Cutting off Kunming, I believe, will more limit their supply coming in from Western sources, which would be good. Now, um, let's look at what we might want to purchase as Japan while we're over here. Okay, we got two more fighters coming in. That should dominate uh, the airspace uh, over. And those are way off in 41. Um, but we could use more, more bombers of tactical type. Preferred ground attack. Um, uh, yeah. Let's do that. And Germany. Okay. Like last episode, I really think, like I said last episode, I really think we're nearly done with the ground campaign here in the West. Um, so what we're going to do is see about building some more things here. Um, infantry weapons, can we afford that? Yes. Um, um, armored trains. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I just want to see how they actually effectively work. Um, I know they all can only move along rail provinces, but we'll see. And I prefer Z um, Panzer Zook 10. I don't know what Michael was. Um, And for my buddy IKB, who is my railway expert. I know a bit about it, um, railways and stuff, but he is a um, pretty good expert on the history of them. So we're going to purchase those. And so we'll see they'll be coming December of this year, of course. So, um... Yeah, I think that'll be for the best. Um, just making sure we've... Okay, we haven't moved these guys. Like just playing hide-and-go-seek with them up here. Um, sort of mostly playing hide now. All those light cruisers there. Uh... Go back to rating profile. Let's risk uh, getting on the supply lines there. They've just moved up to there. 
to raid on that. I wonder if I should move them off to Japan or something. Hmm, that's an idea. Okay, um, not even sure they can go into or use a supply or anything from their port since they're neutral at the moment, at least in our bigger war. Okay, Italy, 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 Italy. Um, no, I just want to purchase things. I don't know that we do. Um, nothing really to purchase down there. Uh, yeah, we really don't have the points to produce, purchase much. So I say that and I go, mm, uh, I really want maritime bombers. Yeah, we're going for it. We're going maritime bombers. I know I really don't have the, the power, but MPP, but uh, I really wish when all those fleet was out here, really wished I had something a little more dedicated to hit at them, especially like those subs. Okay. I think it's time for the allies turn. Um, yes, I'm sure I'm forgetting something somewhere. Chinese morale suffers with the loss of Changsha. Yeah, click it to come back to off quicker. More French morale suffers from the fall of Paris. Germany celebrates the fall of Paris. Loss of Paris impact British morale. Okay, low French morale. Okay, do we want to sign an armistice with Patan and set up Vichy France? Yes. We obviously could keep winning in France. That isn't a real question. Uh, I think they're doomed is, but are we really prepared to take over and fight um, what would continue being France or Free France, presumably, the colonies? Um, and I, I don't think we are. So this is a better thing to do. You know, North Africa and all those places. 948 MPP. Okay, having captured Northern France, we now have access to the important naval base at Saint-Nazaire. Um, okay, yes, we'll do this. We want a German sub, because then we can drop submarine units um, right out there. And not just repair, but but initially start them out there. So that is worth it. Yes. Yeah, so we're upgrading the base out here. So this will be sort of direct German territory. Office of the Navy, Admiral Cal Cavanari. Sorry, I'm butchering some of these names. For a modest investment, we could strike at Allied units. Import using a new innovation, the human torpedo, the Mole. Um, preparing a submarine for this role will cost only 25 MPP, which, while its attacks will only have a very small chance of success, the damage could be inflicted. Okay. Yeah, um, we don't really have the points, but yeah, we'll do that. Okay, Minister of War, Lieutenant General Hideki Tojo. Um, we have an Indochina Expedition Army forming in Tokyo. For offensive operation in Asia, it has, however, been suggested that instead of deploying the army, we use the soldiers instead to form garrisons to guard our expanded empire. Um, yeah, I think I think the garrisons are going to be useful because I'm hoping to get Indochina via political means. So, um, no. Vichy authorities in Madagascar. It actually took a British invasion to and battles with um, the Vichy forces to get Madagascar. They were worried it'd be a Japanese um, submarine base. Okay, Third Republic abolished under Marshal Patan. Algeria. Tunisia. Now, Tunisia and Morocco were sort of protectors. Algeria, where Syria declares loyalty, were um, French West Africa. There you go. Neutral. Um, we're metropolitan French. And declares neutrality at this moment. I do believe much of those will go over to the Allies. Germany accesses Alsace. Right, we've got that correct. German victorious victorious German troops march at Paris. Yes, I've used that photo for events. 
Order the Commandant German forces to occupy the island of Jersey. It's there. Okay, create Greater East. East, Greater East Asia Co-Prosperity Sphere. Don't know who it was co with. Just prosperity for Japan. UK prepares for possible Axis invasion. Admiral Carnaris and Air General Wolfram von Richthofen visit Spain. Spanish forces enter the International Protectorate of Tangiers. Yes, I know about that. Okay, so human torpedoes. I didn't have the money, but we did spend it for that. I mean, we didn't have it in the idea of we were on a very tight budget. Calculating supply for our turn. UK reorganizes the Free French. Vichy France distances itself from de Gaulle. UK received destroyers from the US. British Marl boosted by the destroyers. So that's getting more and more forces. Yes, we've lost Mogadishu. So I moved these guys up there because I knew we were going to lose that even. It might take an extra turn, but not much more than that. But up there, actually, I think we have a chance of holding some of this. Right, okay. We're, we're moving up air support. don't help them they seem to do a little better I wonder if that's because I didn't help them or if I'd help them they'd do even better Smart to get their anti aircraft guns out. They were going to be the next target if they'd stayed down there. British morale shaken by France's surrender. Germany celebrates the defeat of France. Syria leans towards the Axis. They go free French. Yeah, they're far enough away. No, no, at least they, cause they don't see Japan as such a threat yet. Partisan activity in China. Right, I thought we were covering all the areas. Okay, we're disrupting a lot of their convoys. De Gaulle announces on the BC France, France has lost the battle, but France has not lost the war. Yet you lost the war. Ramon Mercader assassinates Leon Trotsky in Mexico with a ice pick. I uh, yeah, didn't remember the name of who did it, but I know he did it with an ice pick. Glad they assassinated that bastard. I know he's sort of the, the well, the better... Um, Communist than Stalin. Well, maybe he's better than Stalin, but I have no no good proof of that Okay, so we're disrupting their convoys even Italy's a little bit Disrupting that limited resistance expected in Indochina due to the situation in France Secretary of State has communicated to us the following statement through the American charges of despairs in Berlin. U.S. government will not recognize any transfer of geographical region in the Western Hemisphere from one non-American power, meaning non, um, not U.S. American, but just whether that would be like um, Venezuela or Colombia. You know, they could swap some territory, but not outside of the American to another non-American power. So you can also swap it to an to American power, but not to an out non-American power. So lot, basically it's saying nothing's going over to, to Germany or Italy, but yeah. And that it will not recognize any attempt to undertake such a transfer. Okay, Monroe Doctrine. Okay, Garrison GA, we're gonna need those. We're gonna need those very soon. We're gonna need one Belgium, one in the Netherlands, and one, or more than one in France. 
Okay, Germany subs, we can stick that straight down there. And um, more Luftwaffe units, yeah, we can start you out there. And battleships, which aren't subs, obviously, can start there. Okay, so we're getting that. That is good. Um, hmm. Both in pretty good supply, so let's move that to there. So at least uh, we'll do some help in protecting. Get up here where we can have a little better supply. Now uh, let's move you up. I think I want you there. Big job is, of course, just to hold right now until we can get German forces down there locally. Now here, um, that's not worth, the, worth an attack. Uh, well, I think we just want to play a long cat and mouse game out here. And not so much a, I mean, like try to maybe block that off there. Hmm. Yeah, come out in the rain. Storms may keep you from being effective, but the rain may also help you dive and maneuver away from likely enemies a bit more. You come out and Right out here, be ready to operate. Did I forget to move these last time? Probably. Could have been what I was forgetting. Okay. Now. Okay, you can get down to there. You're going to stay there. Okay, armies, armies, armies. They're going to come. Let's start with the ones further east. I think once we get into place, we'll have time to reinforce capabilities after sort of some long marches. Let's get you down here to better get ready for Going after Yugoslavia and Greece and similar sorts of things. Okay, um, oh, I want to look again. Where? Okay, Paris, Brest, and down here. Um, and Nancy and Brussels. Okay, but I also want to occupy some ports. Um,
so that'll be enough to keep the partisans from jumping up this next turn because we're going to get those guys coming in real soon um Okay, yeah, we got lots of, let's, We are going to try an air offensive against the British. Not a, a, a airborne, but just um, air attack. So, do we have partisan problems up north here? No, not yet. And Denmark was very peaceful during the war until the final days, and then. Um, well, you know. Let's come up there with you. Get ready a little bit to um, these are battle cruisers, the CCs. Okay. Um, do some anti submarine. Well, I got to get anti submarine weapons because these things suck. Is that uh, there we go a little bit closer? Yeah, okay, those guys move there. They are all organized as they can be. Now we don't need these guys here anymore. Okay, um, we don't need them here. Are there any partisans in Italy? No. I'm mainly right now keeping these for anti-invasion forces, but I'm a little, a little worried that Rome isn't watched. Well, well, I don't even know if I have the. I don't even know if I have that, so I'm a little worried there. But I don't know. They probably can't really do much at this time. Give them some time. And they will probably, so we'll build up that a bit. Okay, so we have, let's look at um, research for Germany. We have 1300. Now, um, obviously we're not gonna be getting that every turn. So we wanna look at things wisely. Germany here. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to go with anti-submarine warfare like I talked about. I want to be able to and it's not just the Norway convoys, though that's the thing today. It's just submarines in general. I want to be able to have something to effectively go after them. Um, so we're going to do that. I think long term infantry weapons, we get those better sooner than, than later, and we'll get those going. So that's it. I mean, there's a lot of. A lot of good things to do here, but um, now let's look at purchasing. Okay. Um, hmm. I think some rocket artillery would be nice. Uh, mobility. Uh, that's a lot. 60. We'll just do this for now, I think. 
think those will help concentrate. We do not have any regular heavy artillery either, do we? Um, we would like some of that. Because I just think we're going to have enough situations in where um, otherwise we'll be banging our heads against the wall a little too much like we have been doing down in um, China. So we'll grab up one each of those. So November and December, so those happen, build faster. Okay, and that and the headquarters is coming. Uh, and mobility are going to be critical once we get to the larger areas of the east, I think. Okay, close. We don't, we... A cushion is good. A cushion is useful. But we do, well, no, we need um, some garrisons. That'll free up other things. Okay, that'll be good. Okay, now for Japan, I just prefer to sort of be thinking and looking over here. Uh, research first. Let's look at Japan as a research. Okay, we're doing pretty good with things. Here, hopefully, a lot of this stuff will... thinking well now um thinking I want to we have no more ground attack aircraft coming we've got one more oh no we're looking at the wrong country oh no okay we, we do okay well those are back at 41 early 41 now um yeah that isn't so far away I'm uh, just more hoping for 19 40 something even though we are in August so air power can be useful in all kinds of areas um, those are strategic bombers I think those are tactical so Japan um, that is who we were looking at right yeah I don't know why it reverted okay um, those are strategic Medium versus tactical, 300. Long range naval weapon. We can upgrade later. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I'm hoping it'll be a good, good buy, good purchase. Yes, I'm agonizing over some of these things. Um, now, okay, now you're sort of situated to help push through there. Let's do that. Let's kill this off first. Okay. Um, Partisans down here. Surprisingly little down here. Okay. Um, I guess you can take that. 
Okay, that will help with the railway connecting. Yep, got to help with supply a lot better. Okay, well, let's get... No, let's not. Let's see, can we... No, um... Instead of attacking, let's, well, okay, they're not in a good enough supply. They are, let's do that. And let's, no, we don't have the points to do anymore. Okay, um, That's probably a better location for them. They can come up here. So that wasn't. Okay, well, at least that'll make them spend a little bit more to reinforce those. Send in replacements, that kind of thing. Oh, yes, right, we're just about out. Just checking our navy because I traditionally forget to do that. Um, yeah, these guys are just. Do I even spend. Yeah, I'll spend two MPP on you to get you back to five. Maybe you hold out for half a turn longer or cost a half a point or something. I don't know. Um, all right. Oh, no, let's... Send you over to here. Um... This is being a little risky, maybe. But I think we'll be okay. We sort of have that. Um, I think next turn the War with Greece starts, and having some submarines out here may help us out scouting, and we may be able to use offshore bombardment from battleships. And some battles and being in place would help out a little bit better okay let's let's end this here we'll start the allied turn next episode i want to thank you all for watching thanks for liking the videos um if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and of course i really love hearing from you so please post question comment suggestion correction tip see you next time for more historical gaming